Roddy, I looked it up. Gallop up. Cape Gallop. Cape Gallop. I can't see my saw. Yeah, you're right. No, what about the condenser? No, it's fine. Yeah, we'll just tap it in a little bit. That's it. Don't go too far. Just needs to clear that up there. And then you're right. back a bit? Not yet. There we go. One 4D56U motor out. We've got the motor out. And we're going to go through it now, have a look. We'll start off with taking the, the front part of the timing belt off. The turbo. And then we'll whiz off that rocker cover. We've got the cams out. We've got the head off. You can see number one's very oily there. Now we've got the, the bottom end to take off. And we've got the sump off. There was a little bit of fine metal in the bottom of the sump. There's like a, a little plate there. Where'd you put it? Doesn't matter. So now we'll just knock these uh, pistons out. We'll just take the conrod nuts off. There we go. There's the number one conrod. We could not find the bearing at all. No bearing there. Look at that. Bit hard to see in the light. It looks like it's spun that bearing so far on number one. We've got one and four out. At least this one had bearings, but I've actually spent spun. You can see that the join is right there. Number two bearings, you can see they're all seized and spun. The little number three, you can see the little tang that holds it from spinning has been flattened out. So it's been rolling around in the con rod. And number four, the bearing's still on there. But no bearing at all at number one. It's completely ground it right out. So they've driven it a little bit too long. So we'll have to replace the whole crankshaft on this. I'm not sure if they can machine it. There might be not enough meat there. You can possibly get it machined and get conrods to suit and oversized bearings to suit if... Uh, no other problems here. The main bearings will whiz off now and have a look. Number four, I don't know if you can see that, it's got a big, big hole in it as well. Get the soft hammer. Well, I look like, give me a look. Yeah, the bearing's still on there. Yeah. They don't look too bad. So it looks like the conrod bearings are buggered on it. That one doesn't look too bad either. Doesn't look too bad either. Oh, 
Definitely just the cone rods. And here's another problem here. We've got the, the cams and the rockers all out. You can see this valve here is stuck open. Number two, rear inlet. So that's probably why the, uh, the motor was smoking so much. This one wouldn't close. Just flick out those little collets. block thoroughly thoroughly cleaned at the engine reconditioners they've also bored it out bored out the bores uh, 0.5 of a mil and they've just surfaced this apparently two and a half there 